On Newark's South 11th Street, house after house after house abandoned and boarded up. But at Thursday's auction of city properties, someone bought this vacant lot for nearly $7,000. Another investor, RDM Concepts Holding in Manhattan, said it scooped up eight properties to turn most of them into Section 8 or affordable housing for Newarkers who work. Well, progress can happen, you just have to sit down and do it. Six years ago, Victor Baker and Hassan Keith, a Newark native, turned what were five empty lots into brand new two-story houses on South 9th Street and sold them. Their first project, Keith and Baker and their partners won the competitive bid for all five of those empty lots here on South 9th Street back in 2008. They said they took huge risks because at the time the economy was on the skids and the housing market while well, they were both on the fast track bound for the Great Recession. This week, the duo, college buddies from Rutgers, and their partners drove around on the lofts at Lincoln Park. 24 two- and three-bedroom, two-bath condos with hardwood floors on Newark's Clinton Avenue using private and public sector funds. You, you say, why Newark? I say, why not? It's an active real estate landscape downtown. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Mayor Roz Baraka congratulated Baker and Keith for, quote, being first to the table. First to the table in terms of these neighborhoods, because that's where we're going in the city. We're going, it's time for us to go up in the neighborhood. And a lot of folks take risks, but they take calculated risks downtown. We are ready for people to take the risk where the risk is needed the most, uh, and it's needed the most in our neighborhoods. But sure enough, there's some very, there's small businesses that have propped up. Rutgers and Newark's Associate Dean, Dr. Peter Huntis, offers a personal and academic perspective. Five years ago, he left New York, settled near Military Park, and witnessed neighborhood businesses that opened up to support the residents' needs. Dr. Hunter says that's the challenge for residential developers. There is a level of trust that those other services will soon develop to help make their investment successful. And that's part of what Baker and Keith are banking on. We definitely want to see more people that live here who are born and raised here to become a part of the economic development in the city of Newark. I think that's a real, real big responsibility. Baker says it's also about inspiring the young Newarkers, like his children, who see the blight but also see the opportunity to build a better Newark. Michael Hill, NJTV News.